hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh today i am with a very basic question which says that the water lily sign in a hydrated cyst of liver is an active stage transient stage inactive stage or a degenerative stage so our today's topic of discussion is hydrated cyst first of all know that the basic the most common site of hydrated cyst is liver which is followed by the second most common that is lungs so the most common site is liver followed by the second most common which are lungs uh before initiating with the radiological signs of hydrated cyst of liver uh i want to look at the basic structure of the hydrated cyst which consists of three layer structure the outermost layer this is the outermost layer which is known as the pericyst this pericyst is not of the parasite but developed by the host as a response of fibrosis okay the outermost layer is the host collagen capsule which is known as the pericyst uh the layer inside the pericyst is known as the ectocyst this is the parasite layer and the innermost layer is the endocyst okay endocyst this ectocyst is known as the laminated layer and the endocyst is known as the germinal layer the endocyst layer is the most important layer because this ri give rise to all the uh, brood capsules all the brood capsules and the originating protoscolysis from these brood capsules when uh, these brood capsules develop their own endocyst and the ectocyst these are known as the daughter cyst okay so the basic structure is three layer the pericyst that is the host reaction the ectocyst known as the laminated layer and the endocyst which is the germinal layer most important layer responsible for the formation of the brood capsules the protoscolysis and finally the daughter cyst with this basic knowledge let's proceed towards the classification of the hydrated cyst of liver which is given by the who so let's discuss the who classification of hydrated cyst of liver uh, see the classification is cl and ce cl is a cystic lesion c for cystic l for lesion while c l is the cystic echinococcosis okay so first of all the cl lesion cl cystic lesion this is the uh, see there is a unilocular anechoic cystic lesion there is no internal echos or no internal septations this is just a cystic lesion we cannot say properly that this is the hydrated cyst this just appears as a simple hepatic cyst this is the cystic lesion okay the next is the cystic echinococcosis stage 1 okay this is also a anechoic cystic lesion okay anechoic cystic lesion but see there is there are fine internal echos settled here these internal echos actually represent the hydrated sand what are hydrated sand hydrated sands are actually the fluid and the protoscolysis originate from the ruptured vesicles these a uh, brood capsules uh, get ruptured and they release the fluid and these protoscolysis inside which represent the hydrated cyst okay so the ce1 stage is the anechoic lesion with settled debris or echos known as the hydrated sand this is the ce1 stage the second stage is the ce2 stage okay ce2 stage here see the hydrated cyst have multiple daughter cyst multiple daughter cyst see the multiple daughter cyst and the wall of these daughter cysts the wall of these daughter cysts are represented are uh, looked as a septa so these are the cyst these are the cyst with internal septations with internal septations okay these septa these septa represent the walls of the daughter cyst and these are described as the multi vesicular multi vesicular rosette or honeycomb structure 
okay honeycomb structure so these are just look like this this is just looking like a honeycomb structure so this is known as the honeycomb structure or this just the walls of these the there are bigger bigger dotuses and the walls of these dotuses are just looking like septa these are known as the rosette structure okay this is the ce2 stage i hope this is clear now let's uh, the ce1 stage and the ce2 stage these two are the active stages the parasite is active it is like okay active stage the next stage is the ce3 stage the ce3 stage c3 stage is actually the transitional stage this is the transitional stage this won't stay this is just a transitional stage the evolving appearance of the dotuses within the encomp encompassing parenchyma this is the 3a and this is the 3p so in 3a c the dotuses have detached laminated membrane okay detached laminar membrane we just c a cyst and a floating membrane and a floating membrane within this okay this is known as the water lily or camelot sign camelot sign or this is known as the serpent sign okay so this is the 3a the tortoise cyst have detached laminated membrane which is known as the water lily sign camelot sign or the serpent sign a uh, 3 ce3 has sub stages like 3a and 3b in 3b the dotuses lie within a these dotuses lie within a solid matrix okay this is the stage 3b remember 3 is transitional stage next is the ce4 stage remember ce4 and ce5 are the inactive or the degenerative stages see in ce4 there are absence of the dotted cyst there is mixed hypo and hyperechoic matrix resembling a ball of wool this is known as the ball of wool sign okay ball of wool sign this is the inactive or the degenerative stage the next stage is the ce5 stage which is also the inactive or the degenerative stage where there is an arc like thick or partially or completely calcified wall see this okay this is the ce4 stage ce5 stage which is the inactive or the degenerative stage okay so uh, what we have read till now let's just summarize that just see this picture so a uh, ce1 is the anechoic cyst with the hydrated sand C two we have the daughter cysts within the main cyst which are known as the honeycomb or the rosette pattern. These two are the active stage. The next is the C three and C three B. Three A we have the water lily sign or the camelot sign or the serpent sign, and C three B we have daughter cysts within a solid matrix. Remember this is just a transitional stage. while ce4 and ce5 are the inactive or the degenerative stage in ce4 we see a ball of wool sign mixed hypo and hyperechoic matrix and in case of c5 we just see a calcified wall this is the ce5 stage so uh, let's come back to the question what a lily sign in hydrated cyst of liver is so what a lily sign is seen in c ce3 a okay and this is the transient stage so here the answer is transient stage okay so i hope i have met this topic